everyone. I'm back with the final flip through for the Nature's Music Journal. Um, this kit is by Elsie Bell's Bookshelf on Etsy. And um, for the cover, I've got a 9 by 12 envelope that I've covered with a piece of paper that I enlarged from the kit um, and just wrapped it around the envelope. And um, I've coated the paper in Waverly wax, clear water-based seal. And um, yeah, I really like the way that came out. Gave it a, a nice uh, texture. Um, I've just put a piece of, uh, what is that, music paper on the bottom, covered with a piece of lace, a couple of um, cards that are from the kit itself, also the little butterfly. Um, I have some rhinestones here. There's a little bit of eyelash uh, yarn under the butterfly, and then I've just wrapped a piece of black uh, waxed linen thread around the uh, butterfly for the antenna. And uh, these are just some uh, file plates. I don't remember if I bought them on Amazon, I believe. And um, since they came with screws, I was going to clip off the top of the screw and glue them on, and then I just decided to use the rhinestones instead. And um, for the closure, I've just done an eyelet um, on the front and the back, and you've used some uh, organdy, organdy, organza ribbon. Um, in the front, I have just lined the inside cover with another um, background page from the, the kit. Um, I've added a pocket here with some lace trim. There's a postcard from the kit. Um, I printed out another background page and cut it into some extra journaling cards. This is a, a page from the kit which I've just trimmed. I've got a doily. I've got um, a short page is just some uh, scrapbooking paper from my stash. I've got a belly band here with an envelope. Um, I'm just holding that on with just a uh, paper clip with a piece of uh, piece of lace attached to the top. Another page from the kit. A piece of scrapbook page from my stash. A piece of music paper which I've sewn the trim on. Coffee dyed on the back. I believe this is printed coffee dyed. This is real coffee dyed paper. Um, some pockets from the kit with some bling. There's a little bit of lace and a button. Uh, this is a uh, Tracy Fox um, belly band tag. So you can stick something under the tag if you'd like. I just used a punch out uh, from the kit and added a couple of rhinestones there. The tag itself, I believe, is from Victoria Designs. Um, another page from the kit, another scrapbooking page. This page is from the kit. On this coffee dye page, I've got the um, a ticket that I've cut from uh, a background page, just some lace trim on the top. This is a double flip. We did these together. Um, this is inspired by um, Shell Radcliffe, and um, I've just glued on some eyelash trim and a little ticket here. But this is a double flip that wraps around to the other page. Um, journaling tuck or journaling spot under both um, corner tucks. This is a tag I cut from the background page. Just some lace and bling. Butterfly from the kit with some eyelash trim. Scrapbooking paper. This is uh, another piece that's trimmed. Dictionary page. Uh, another coffee dyed page. I've just taken a piece from the kit and made a little corner tuck. This is the rhinestones, lace, and a button. Inside the button, I've got a little bit of the waxed black 
linen cord and just a tag that I've cut from a background page. Um, short scrapbooking page, scrapbook paper page. This is a um, belly band bookmark that we made together. Um, got that idea from uh, G. Kerr and it slips over the page. Um, I just stamped the background and then uh, added a butterfly to it, some lace at the top, and a little bit of a charm on the bottom. So that can be moved around wherever you'd like. Here's an envelope, which I've just tucked another journal card inside. Another page from the kit that's trimmed with lace short scrapbook page, another um, coffee dyed page which I have the little side tuck for journaling. Um, I've just tucked a couple of journal cards under here. This is um, a piece of paper, I guess paper tape, is well it's not sticky but you know the paper that you buy on the roll um, that's added to the little flip piece. I've put a piece of lace down the middle and just added some ephemera from the kit with some pieces of bling there. This is another scrapbook page. I'm trying to use up what's in my stash. Another um, page from the kit. A small envelope. Got a, a smaller tag from the kit. Um, I've taken another tag from the kit and just cut out the focal point. Um, this is the center page with a lace trim on both sides um, and I've just tied a piece of lace in the middle. I got this idea that's not mine. I got it from Gail Agostinelli. Um, so here's the other side of that small pocket with the small tag. Those are from the kit. I've just added a piece of lace for the tie. Page from the kit scrapbooking paper. Here's another one of the flips that I made with the ephemera. Um, here I've made a little booklet with some of the extra cutoffs. Um, they could be, you know, you could use these to write in or you could use it to um, for extra pieces throughout, but I wanted to include that. Um, the uh, Another journal card scrapbook page, another uh, kit page, it's trimmed in lace, here's the other side of that envelope with another journal card inside. Um, I've got a banner tuck here, which if I could just borrow this, um, will hold some items just like that. This is, um, let's stick that back in there. This is just a couple of pieces that were cut off from actually the envelopes that were on the front and back. These envelopes had this piece on the bottom. Um, but because I used them for pockets, I had this piece left over and I cut them to make the banners. This is just another piece that I had punched out for something and didn't use, so I scrunched it up with, uh, sprayed it with water and scrunched it up and let it dry and then added a button to that. There's a little eyelash yarn uh, under there and some lace trim. Got another scrapbook page, scrapbook page. Um, another tag that I cut out of the background papers. Um, this was a journaling card that came with the kit, so I've used it for a tuck. Just a little bit of bling and a piece of lace and a button. Um, dictionary page, um, another page from the kit that's trimmed, and another scrapbook page. It's got quite a few pages. I believe there's 25, so there should be 100 pages total. Um, another tag with some lace trim and bling on the bottom. We've got another um, double corner flip here on both sides. For journaling, another journal card, lots of room to write with this one. I've left lots of, of, of room for whatever. So um, definitely a writing journal. 
um, in this pocket was a journal card from the kit also um, and um, this is the page that we did together the um, double point full journal card that's what I called it um, just uh, a journaling spot in here on a book page some corner folds at the top a piece of ephemera from the kit um, which I tucked into the tag here on the bottom there's some eyelash trim and a button and the uh, rhinestones. This could be made larger. Um, I wanted it to fit, in, to fit in the pocket, but if you made it, uh, well, even this side, you could glue it here and use it as a tuck, or you could make it larger, uh, glue around three sides and make it a, either a top pocket or glue on these sides and make a side pocket. It's, it's very um, adaptable, but I thought that was fun. So if you're interested in those, um, I'm going to make a playlist of this journal, um, and so I will leave the link to the playlist in the description below. Um, the other back side of that coffee dye music paper, more scrapbook paper, and another page from the kit, another small envelope in the belly band with... Uh, another piece of just a paper clip with the lace trim there those can be moved wherever you want them another scrapbooking page the doily and the last page from the kit and then of course I have a pocket on the back my little punch out from making the uh, what do you call them closures so and I've just got the postcard that came with the kit and another journal card in here and um, I've left the back um, plain um, and like I said um, using this wax I did put a drop of water on here and it just beat it up and uh, rolled right off so pretty neat I don't know how long you could leave the water on before it would begin to penetrate but for a quick cleanup I think that'll be a good uh, uh, seal so anyway um, this will be going up on my um, in my Etsy shop so I will leave that link below as well when it is listed and um, yeah I like the way it turned out it's very cool so hope you like it thanks for watching and I'll be back with a few more videos of the rosy elegance and then we'll be ready to do a flip through of that one as well talk to you soon